Advanced Financial Accounting PowerPoint Presentation. In this presentation, we will discuss a situation where we have a consolidation process and in the period of consolidation, the parent sells subsidiary shares to a non-affiliated entity. In other words, we have a consolidation process, we have a parent-subsidiary relationship, parent owning a controlling interest over 51% of subsidiary. The parent then in that period sells some of the shares that they own in the subsidiary to uh, a party that's not affiliated in the consolidation. What will be the effect in the consolidation process of that? Get ready to account with advanced financial accounting. So we are talking about a situation where we have a parent subsidiary relationship, a controlling interest. In other words, the parent owns over 51% and in the time period of consolidation, the parent then is selling some of the shares of the subsidiary. What will be the impact? So if the parent still holds a controlling interest after the sale, they still have over 51% the general rule. The sale is considered an equity transaction and no gain or loss should be recognized in the consolidated net income. So we shouldn't have any gain or loss in the net income of the consolidation with respect to a sale that would happen uh, to a non-affiliated party if the controlling interest still has uh, control after the sale of the shares of uh, the subsidiary. We will need to adjust to the amount assigned to the non-controlling interest to show its change in ownership of the subsidiary. So in other words, because there was a sale that took place, if you think about percentages in terms of percent to the controlling and non-controlling then the non-controlling percentage has going up controlling interest you would think would go down with this sale that would be taking place however they still have a controlling interest meaning they have basically over 51 percent being the general rule now the difference between the fair value of the consideration in the equity transaction and the adjustment to the non-controlling interest will require an adjustment to the stockholders equity attributable to the controlling interest resulting in adjustment to additional paid in capital and this is kind of the most unusual uh, component of this because we if if you're talking about a transaction that would have basically a gain or loss and we're saying we're, we're not going to record the gain or loss what is in essence happening there's going to have to be an adjustment somewhere it's basically going to the additional paid in capital now i recommend taking a look at the practice problem for this it's not a very long problem with relation to uh, a problem such as this but uh, so I recommend actually working through the journal entries for it.